flesh of the gods. It's a mushroom that is used in Mexico by corinderos for divinatory and oracular purposes. Tiananmen translates as flesh of the gods. It's a mushroom that is used in Mexico by corinderos for divinatory and oracular purposes. Tiananmen translates as flesh of the gods. It's a mushroom that is used in Mexico by corinderos for divinatory and oracular purposes. Tiananmen translates as flesh of the gods. It's a mushroom that is used in Mexico by corinderos for divinatory and oracular purposes.
said. That's a very interesting question. I asked somebody last evening, how has, um, how have you changed as a result of all this spiritual stuff you've done all these years? And he said, that's a very interesting question. And I... Um, how have you changed as a result of all this spiritual stuff you've done all these years? And I reflected about, I asked somebody last evening, how has, um, how have you changed as a result of all this spiritual stuff you've done all these years? And he said, that's a very interesting question. evening how has um how have you changed as a result of all the spiritual stuff you've done all these years and he said that's a very interesting question
most of the messages were messages I had received before, and I did not feel any great light in the shed at that point. And I got to uh, Kathmandu, Nepal, and we were about to go on to Japan. And I started to experience very deep despair because that was sort of like the beginning of the journey home and I didn't see any reason to go back. What was I going back to? I had used up everything. I had nothing new to say. I didn't know. I didn't know enough. And I was sitting in the, a hippie restaurant called the Blue Tibetan with my friend, my traveling companion. I was sitting with some French hippies. And in walked this very extraordinary looking young fellow. He was six foot seven, and he had long blonde hair and blonde beard. He was barefoot, wearing white cloth, beads. Very uh, powerful being, and he came right to our table and sat down. And within about two minutes, I sensed that this fellow knew. It's interesting how when you are in the businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. The businesses and I was sitting in the a hippie restaurant called the Blue Tibetan with my friend, my traveling companion. I was sitting with some French hippies. And in walked this very extraordinary looking young fellow. He was six foot seven. And he had long blonde hair and blonde beard. He was barefoot, wearing white cloth beads. Very uh, powerful being. And he came right to our table and sat down. And within about two minutes, I sensed that this fellow knew. It's interesting how when you are in the businesses I've been in, you are constantly checking out people's eyes. And I would look into their eyes and they would always be looking at me like, do you know? And I'd just say, no, do you know? <laughs>